so ready, okay? So my friend, are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. and a very good morning to all parents, children. <laughs> A very good morning to all parents, teachers, and friends. I, I, they, you, on behalf of Sunflower Montessori Child Care Center, would like to present you a graduation and concert today. We hope you enjoy our show. We now request everyone to stand up for our national anthem. Thank you. For our opening dance, let's welcome our three little children with their waka waka dance from Africa. Yeah. 
Good morning, parents and our lovely children. Today, I'm glad to see all of you gather on this lovely Sunday morning, celebrating another life milestone of these incredible children. I love to start our opening ceremony with Waka Waka dance because there is a saying in Africa, it takes a village to raise a child. This means that an entire community of people must interact positively with children so that these children can experience and grow in a safe and healthy environment. Now today, the city life makes our children spend most of their time at home because it is not safe to walk around in their neighborhood while parents are busy working. Therefore, child care centers play a very important role in taking care and guiding them to become a better person with positive character. We make sure our, we plan our school activity and lesson plan well to broaden their mind. We also have a close relationship with parents because we believe that two-way communication and working hand-in-hand -hand with parents in bringing up the child. To recap, last year, it was a fun few years. We learned about our country, Malaysia, transportation, our work, and four seasons. We organized picnic day in our school garden during spring, water play in the summer, collecting dry leaves in the autumn. Last but not least, organized outing to snow walk to experience the winter cold weather. We had cooking session in making roja, Malaysian food, chin chow, and honey. Speaking of our work, we had a role play session taking a flight to Turkey. You see, even teacher Linda stand on their passport. <laughs> Overall, we believe that children learn through play, and this happy memory will encourage them to learn throughout their life. This year, our graduation ceremony carried the team of our work. This team was chosen with great consideration as we believe that our children are not just the future. They are the future leader who will shape and influence the world around them. In a world that is increasingly complex and globalized, we aim to instill our children not only academic excellence, but also a deep sense of empathy, awareness, and commitment to social justice. We want them to understand that their action and decision have far-reaching consequences with today's program. The children will show you culture dance from seven continents, what they have learned, and what has our world been facing, which are climate change, Natural disaster and war. See, this is Hawaii, and then we are having a lot of war. Therefore, I stand before you, proud of the village we built together, dedicated teacher, supportive parents, and a community that value the growth and development of every child. Each child here is a testament to the dedication of our village. And we are confident that they will go on to positively impact our world. Okay, everyone, welcome to the community. Kids, good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to see you today. The first day of the graduation is very special. Thank you for your support and your guidance. Let's together celebrate and thank this young person who has made a new beginning. 我很喜欢以瓦嘎瓦嘎舞蹈作为我们今天的开幕仪式，因为在非洲有一集夜里，教养一个孩子需要一整个村庄的力量。孩子的成长深受他身边的家人、同伴和亲友的影响。我们必须给孩子正确的鼓励和正面的鼓励，来引导他们向上和向上。现在的城市生活非常繁忙，孩子们也比较少机会到社区、邻居或者亲戚的家活动，因此幼儿园和安亲班扮演了非常。
常重要的角色，去教育及引导孩子们正面的学习及成长。在此，小太阳的老师们很注重课程及活动的设计，让孩子们在生活中学习及体验正面的人生观及世界观。我们也相信，以家长们的双向交流及沟通。有助于孩子健康的成长。去年是一个充满乐趣的一年，我们学习了我们的国家马来西亚交通工具、我们的世界和四季。春天我们在校园里野餐，夏天我们在玩水，秋天我们收集干的叶子。我们也组织户外郊游到 Snow Walk 体验冬天的寒冷天气。我们也带领着孩子参与烹饪活动，制作许多马来西亚的美食，如罗家板面、清炒。为了让孩子们明白交通的发展，缩短了我们与世界各国的距离，我们也策划了一个角色扮演的节目，大家一起搭飞机去土耳其。总的来说，我们相信孩子们通过玩游戏。来学习这些快乐的回忆，将鼓励他们终身学习。今年我们的毕业典礼以我们的世界为主题，选择这个主题是经过深思熟虑的，因为我们相信我们的孩子不仅是未来，而且是塑造和影响未来世界的领导者。在一个任意繁忙和全球化的世界中。我们的目标不仅是向我们的孩子灌输卓越的学业成绩，我们还向他们灌输深刻的同理心、环保意识及对社会正义的承诺。我们希望他们明白，他们的行动和决定会对世界产生深远的影响。在今天的节目中，孩子们将向您呈现。来自七大洲的舞蹈，以及我们世界所面临的气候变迁，还有自然灾难和战争。今天我站在你们面前，为我们共同建立的村庄感到自豪。我们有敬业的老师、支持的家长和重视每个孩子成长和发展的。这里每个孩子都是我们村庄贡献精神的证明。我们也相信他们继续对我们的世界。产生积极的影响。话不多说，让我们一起掌声鼓励我们的五岁和六岁的孩子，为我们献唱一首《我们就是全世界》。We are the world. Further, without further ado, let's put our hands together to welcome our five and six years old. We are the world. Thank you.
for friends. And parents, let's give the five and six year children a happy cheer. For the second performance, it's called Ikan Keke. <laughs> so let's share together what is Ikan Keke all about from our MCs, Jonas and Yuchen.
Ready?
during like harvest time or wedding. So dikir barat is actually made out of pantun. You know, if you go to school, you we do a lot of pantun. And pantun is all one of our signature. Like just now you hear ikan keke, they are also pantun that derives from uh, somewhere uh, like a like a to teach children the guidance, but they make it in the children's song. So dikir barat is also a pantun that they make it into a song. So usually pantun is like I speak, I ask, you answer, I ask, you answer. It's like the Chinese, you know the you go and watch those China drama. Uh, 人家想唱三歌, like hey, da 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 da. Exactly like that. So, but this is Malaysia, our own pantun. Okay. So, um, what you see now, they use the kerto kelapa. It's not because we got no money to buy instrument. The kerto kelapa originally is actually using the coconut husk to make to an instrument. Okay. With the traditional music, what you hear just now was the gamelan. Why I want to introduce Malaysian music is we all live in our country. We have pools of our culture and beautiful, beautiful folk music. So I want the children not only come to my class and learn music, music like how to sing, how to play the keyboard, uh, how to listen. No, I want them to also learn the culture from every single country, uh, music from different places and so that too, they have knowledge of what they are listening to. Like just now when you hear them, they know when to stop, what to do, is because they are listening to sequence. So this is actually brought up to them when they are 3 to 4 years old, when you see my small group, they are 3 to 4 years old kids, they start to learn uh, introduction to listening skills, singing, introducing them beat and percussion instrument. The idea for 3 to 4 years old is to build their creativity and imagination, focus and concentration, of course, expressing their emotion, teamwork and motor skills. As you can see, they were holding a lot of percussion instrument and that is actually a motor skill they need to learn and how to use that instrument. But when they reach us to this age, 5 to 6 years old, they will move to a keyboard class where they will also learn a much more advanced music development such as introducing them rhythm and different beats and incorporate with the beats and more listening skills which requires more attention, concentration, <coughs> coordination that involve also them singing, uh, giving the beats and things like that. So what we do, we usually in the class we will use instrument, we will use ball. Uh, this is basically for them to focus, listen, and do few okay. things at one time. Okay. Being a musician, it is not easy. Being a musician, we have to learn coordination. We have to do one thing with one part of our body and do another thing with part of our body. This is called synchronizing our parts. Um, so, they, besides learning all this in five to six years old, they also learn introduction to keyboard. Uh, how to play the keyboard. When they are a bit older or they have advanced a bit better, uh, usually, we will upgrade them to an individual piano lesson where they will learn uh, more advancing, of course, individual piano lesson, they will go to graded exams and they will learn much more repertoire, you know. So, and uh, later on, you will see some of my keyboard instrument uh, students will come and play something for you all, which they have started with me since they are three, four years old until now. But parents, I see that you all sit down all Sudan Mao Tido. All want to sit, you sit down, right? So when you see me, means it's not gonna be sit down, okay? I need everybody to stand up. Let's do some exercises, okay? Okay, yeah, on my address, say, daddy, stand up, mommy, stand up. I always enjoy mommy, daddy, yeah. <laughs> so, parents, this first movement I teach you is called the. So, usually in music, there are two beats, three beats, and four beats. Usually, you hear pop music, uh, whether it's Bruno Mars, K-pop, girl, whatever pop, usually it's four beats, okay? So, rhythm is 
when I speak. Hello, hello, I clap, hello, hello. So rhythm is follow every single words that I say or every single beat. So now I give you rhythm. Alright, you good? Yeah. One, two. One, two. Thank you. 
search you, I'd like to give a few words. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Sir Chu, right? I'm the head coach for Sunflower Taekwondo team. Right, so this morning, we are bringing you Taekwondo performance. But before that, let me introduce my members here. We have four, right? Okay, I think everyone is so excited, right? So behind me, there are four cute boys, right? And also my assistant instructors. Okay, so for information, Taekwondo is actually originated from Korea, right? So in this martial art, we are very emphasized on the etiquette. So that's why before we start the session, we do the chakra yoga. That's me, attention and bow. Okay, so in Taekwondo, we have a level white belt, yellow belt, green belt, and blue belt. So this is to differentiate their seniority. Alright, in Taekwondo, we also talk about respect to the seniors. Okay, so that's why we have the seniority system. Okay, so without further ado, let us start the performance. Okay, I hope you all enjoy. And at the slide behind, we we'll show the barcode of our Instagram page. If you are interested to enroll your kids to our class, you can just scan or you can also contact me personally. Right, so thank you. Enjoy the show.
the lucky family. Yes. First is the public holiday. That's right, so it's not a public holiday. It's on my hand now. And the first lucky draw goes to Zoe Lin Wan Xuan.
to share with you.
色，真的。哦，前面的话，还有一个。
jumping and stop in the island banda. Swing those hips and back it up to me, brother. I try and sweep until the ladies with the laggy doggy. I'm jumping and I'm jumping, rapping, blue with the yellow. We're jumping and we're making so high for me, baby. Speakers pumping, big birds jumping. We're jumping the island way.
下你冇啦，上台啦，飛點嚟嘅？
前来呀，祖先来，祖先来。走、啊啊啊啊
Yes. So I think it's a very wonderful and lovely moment because our children standing here to share with you the gratitude and the help because of you. Can say to them, I love you, Daddy Mommy. Thank you for raising.